Hello friends, let's understand the impact that the rise of new domain fintech has had on the careers in the banking, financial services and insurance industry. As we know, fintech is modern age finance technology and provides great career opportunities for those who are aspiring to have a solid career for next let's say decade or so. But are these careers same as legacy banking finance kind of careers or are they different? If yes, what is different, what is the impact on the career and what kind of mindset we need to have if you want to develop a career in fintech for let's say next one decade. As you know, fintech is basically modern financial technology which we can say is for last about 15 to 20 years. Some of the characteristics of fintech, modern fintech are like they are funded heavily by venture capitalists, maybe at the latter stage by private equity as well. They are a part of the ecosystem which is today's startup friendly ecosystem. They typically have product mindset than the services mindset which many of the great companies in India like Infosys, Wipro etc have had in the past. And they all aim for very high business growth, maybe 10x, 20x growth in let's say 2 years, 3 years and so on and so forth. Therefore, these companies can give great career opportunities. The salaries could be very good. You can get a lot of satisfaction of innovation and contributing to the society, for example, by taking the payments technology to the bottom of the pyramid people, let's say in the remote area. And also, since these industries get a fair amount of investment, also government support, you can create a wealth for yourself and your family. So what is the impact that fintech as a domain has had careers in the banking and financial services industry? One is you have to now focus more on learning in the initial stages of your careers at maybe the cost of salaries. Second is you should be adept at learning or leveraging technology in a big way. Third, you should be willing to and understand how to take decisions using data. Fourth, you should be able to leverage digital relationships rather than only the in-person relationship which existed in the past, let's say two decades back. Fifth, you should focus on skills more as compared to knowledge. Sixth, you should have you, or you should develop a learning and unlearning mindset. Seventh, you should be able to manage job obsolescence. I'll talk about each of these seven attributes that you need to possess in the new fintech domain if you want to have a career over there in detail now. Number one, focus on learning. In the initial period of your career, many times you have to you know, sort of uh, trade between let's say location where you want to do your job, uh, your salary versus for example learning opportunity, organization brand name etc. Right? So my advice would be at least for first three to five years completely focus on learning and put it as priority number one. Of course other priorities are important in life for example salary is important but put it as priority number two or three or however you want it. But learning should be your priority number one at least for first five years of your career. Also adapt yourself to new age technologies and see where you have the possibility or potential of learning these kind of technologies and domains in a big way. You should always be willing to quickly upgrade your skills, you know, learn new technology, new domain areas and also learn to unlearn, you know, forget things in the past and now focus on what is present and future. So focusing on learning in the first five years is extremely important now if you want to get a great career in fintech. Second attribute, you know, you should leverage technology in a big way. Technology is now a part and parcel of our life. All of us carry mobile phone which has number of apps for example, the social media apps, the banking apps and now there is no escape from technology for any of us. And technology drives fintech, you know, the there is a reason why it's called fintech or financial technology. So you need to develop for example, uh, logical thinking, uh, you should have reasonably good amount of mathematical IQ, you should be you know, okay with playing with numbers. You should have reasonable degree of process orientation. You know, you, how, what is the process? Uh, you know, learn to use checklists for example to make sure that you know all things are being followed correctly. Learn few technology things if you can for example artificial intelligence, machine learning, Java, Python you know, which are open source technologies we can relatively easy learn those and you know we can acquire a good degree of technical plus you know functional or business knowledge in the fintech domain. And make sure that if you are from the technology domain, let's say you are a BTEC or you are MTEC, then in that case you also get some domain knowledge particular to your specific area in FinTech. Don't just remain a technical person or don't just remain a business person because in financial technology both must marry. 
third important thing is use data for decisions one of the reasons you know the fintech that a great amount of data of the customers are valued very very high you know they are unicorns in many cases is they know how to basically uh, uh, you know exploit the data pyramid right right from the granular data of the customers for example go uh, one level up one level up and then do something called predictive analytics you know predict if something is done what is going to be the result so taking data driven decisions is extremely important you know you i think should reorient yourself to do that and always make sure that the intuition is validated by the right kind of data and uh, you know the right kind of decision models the fourth important thing is you should be willing to and learning the leveraging of the digital relationships today most of our relationships are virtual you know we interact with so many people virtually maybe in india or abroad uh, there has been a trend of work from home as well post and during covid and then there is work from office but in many cases the new age companies you know they might do a combination of both of these because of infrastructure costs and some other constraints so you should be you know very adapted leveraging the virtual relationship working with people virtually also make sure that you know you are taking the necessary steps to develop your own brand for example linkedin is the go to destination for professionals right so develop your own brand maybe uh, share the kind of articles keep your linkedin profile active uh, write something you know that will demonstrate your capabilities communication skills etc to people at large so establishing your own brand brand identity by leveraging digital relationships is extremely important fifth important thing focus on skills right because i always say knowledge will give you respect but skills will give you job and career an example simple example is for example when uh, if the battery you know your motorcycle doesn't start in the morning you think it's a battery problem spark plug problem or something like that but can you repair it maybe not and somebody who's you know next to your house is maybe 10th pass uh, person but he can repair repair your motorcycle which you cannot do even if you may be you know uh, mba from a Uh, i will ex school right so that is what is you know called skills versus knowledge right so make sure that you are day one productive wherever you join you have the necessary skills that are required for a specific job right so that you are working with minimum supervision and people are happy to employ you and delegate work to you and you have high productivity by using the tools and the skills that are relevant for a specific job profile so skills are very important sixth important thing is develop the learning and unlearning mindset i spoke a little bit about it earlier because you know the combination of domain and technology knowledge is lethal right so you will be most preferred person if you know both the specific domain as well as you understand the technology the products technologies in the fintech space can get obsolete fast right so you have to learn new things and the willingness to adapt and learn new things is extremely important seventh important thing for you is to manage the job obsolescence because today there are careers that are very cutthroat you will be judged you know you will be rewarded very well as well as you know you can be asked to go because in many companies there is today a culture of you know let's say flushing out the bottom 10% right so mnc's big mnc's practice it on a regular basis and even in you know companies for example fintech companies that are funded the vcs will ask questions right who are the best performers who are the worst performers and they will ask you why you are attending the worst performers on your payroll so bottom gets flushed out so you know you have to be willing to accept that kind of thing it can happen in your case but that's okay. it's a part of life now so you used to be willing to and be able to manage the job of solutions it can come as a risk of course but it's an opportunity also because if you learn new skills then you know you can even find better jobs for example you are in the fintech domain you understand a particular technology you understand the domain and then in addition you do for example a product management certification you acquire a new skill then you can become a product strategist or a manager in a fintech which is a fantastic career opportunity understanding all this will tell you know what has changed fundamentally with the financial technology emerging as one of the you know key domains uh, where you can aim for a good career what kind of roles are available what kind of skills are required and you know how you go about identifying and getting a good career in fintech i hope you found this video useful if yes please do like this video uh, share it with your friends who will find this useful and also do subscribe to my channel thank you very much take care and cheers